In the last video, we left off working on our cushions. So I've made some more adjustments on my new cushion. And you can see it pretty much mimics this original contour. The dimensions aren't exactly the same, but it's still going to work for our new model. So if you look at the original green cushions, these are already grouped, you can see that I have a length here of 51.57 and a width of 35.5. And I've got a height of 37.73. So now let me go ahead and group these orange cushions. And when I group them, you can see I still have a width of 35.5. Um, instead, though, I have a length of 51.65, which is close enough. And I have a height of 37.86, and that's certainly fine. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is delete my original. I'm going to work with that new model. And now what we're going to do is work on putting the rail together. So let me just move this over here. I'm going to go ahead and bring over the rectangle and this round roof. All right, make sure again that you still have these dimensions. Check your dimensions also for your rectangle. Make sure they match. We're going to go ahead and lift these up and turn them 90 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and type 90 in here. And then I'm going to hit D to put it on the work plane. We're going to go ahead and turn this one over 90 degrees. Hit D to put it on the work plane. All right, now we want to go ahead and bring these two together. And the most easiest way to do that is to take your work plane, drag out an extra work plane, and put it on top. Click the round roof and hit D to put it on the work plane. And then I'm just going to go ahead and use my arrow keys to bring them close. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use my alignment tool to bring these together. Okay, once you bring those together, we're going to go ahead and group them. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my work plane back to where it originally was. And then I'm going to put this on, our, on the work plane by hitting the D key. All right, now this is what I've got. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to spin this 90 degrees. And then we're going to add these accent pieces. So you can see about where they're going to be. And it's not, it doesn't have to be precise, but you've got one up in this area and one in this area. So I'm going to go ahead and bring these both over. Okay, and I just changed their dimensions, so let me hit undo. Okay, we're going to slide this back over. All right, let's go back to home view. Now, you don't have to work with a, a duplicate at this point. What we're going to do is similar to what we did with the cylinders. We're going to get this one in position, and then we'll go ahead and duplicate it. So if you'd like, go ahead and get rid of that extra one. We're not going to need that. And let's go ahead and align this one. We'll go ahead and center it. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and bring, I'm going to go ahead and unlock this model over here. And then I'm going to bring this closer so you can see about where we want these little accent pieces positioned. So we're going to put one about right in here and then one slightly back towards this area. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and click here and we're going to enlarge our view a little bit. And I'm going to sink this in enough to where that little U-shape disappears. And if you want to fine tune this a little bit and go down to 0.1 millimeter, you can do that. 
and about there is how much I want to sink it. Just enough to leave some excess material on the outside. Okay, now what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and pull this up, and we're going to be tilting this at an angle. All right, I'm going to send this back in. I'm going to raise this up a little more. And we'll just arbitrarily tilt it. And I'm going to go ahead and bring both of these more to the left so that I can bring this chair in and we can see if we're mimicking this profile. Now that right in there is pretty good. I may bring it up just a little bit more. So I'm going to send it more to the right, pull it up a little bit, and we'll do some adjustments. All right, so that's going to be good enough for me there. And now I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it, Control-D. And I'm just going to go ahead and arbitrarily turn this um, a certain number of degrees. And then I'll have to raise this up. I'm going to send this farther across. It'll temporarily sink down until we get to the other side. All right, let's take a peek and see what this looks like. That's pretty close. About right in this area looks reasonable. We're going to go ahead and want to tilt that. So let's take a closer look at this. All right, now we're going to make some more adjustments. And you can see that I'll have to go ahead and uh, do some alignment. I'm going to move this chair out of my way. Let's go ahead and center both of these. All right, now we're going to go ahead and look at that. All right, now you can see I see a little bit of that, that opening. So I'm going to go ahead and take that down. And then let's check the other one. That one seems to look pretty good. Let's see if I can get a closer look at that. That looks great. Now let's go see what, how much I need to pull that up. Yeah, about right, about right there looks reasonable. Okay, let's back this out a little bit. And I want to take another close-up view at, at this one. So I'm going to click here, and I'm going to take a close-up view. That one just needs to go down a little bit. All right, that should give me a pretty even match. Now let's look at that angle. I want to see if I like the angle on that. Yeah, I think that that looks good. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and work on cutting out the interior. So clicking only that round, that, uh, round roof. Go ahead and duplicate it, and then go ahead and pull this out. Go ahead and duplicate these three pieces. Excuse me, don't duplicate them, but group them. Okay, the color doesn't matter at this point. And since this is going to be turned into a whole tool, I want you to go ahead and give it the following dimensions. We're going to change this. Instead of having a length of 50.5, we're going to change that to 47 long. And we're going to give it a height of 34.25. And we're just going to give it an arbitrary thickness of 8. And we need that to be a little wider because we need to cut out these excess pieces on the side. All right, now, to help you see what we're doing, I'm going to, I'll go ahead and leave that blue because that's already a contrasting color to what we have over here. We're going to bring this back over and we're going to go ahead and align this. We want to go ahead and center this. So we're aligning it here to the front and we want to also center it here. So now if you look at that, I'm going to move this chair out of the way for a moment. 
this is what you're going to see. It'll look just like this. All right, so let's go ahead and take that part, the inside, and turn that into a hole tool. And now we're going to go ahead and group that. Now let's take a, pe a peek here and see what we've got. You can see it cuts off those extra pieces on that U, so it makes it nice and smooth. Um, but the side rail has a nice, even thickness all around. So now what we'll do in the next video, we'll go ahead and duplicate this, and we'll go ahead and attach this to the sides, and then we're almost done. So I'll see you in the next video.